Hi, welcome back. We all know what we are here for today. I am not going to blab on. I really just wanna get into this. We're gonna be talking about Sephora cell recommendations. I'm gonna do this a little bit differently this year. I wanted to start this video out on holiday sets or just value sets. A lot of people go for the value sets around this time because not only are you getting a great value, but you get the additional discount on top of these sets. So I thought it would be fun to run you through my favorite sets. Now, some of these I don't have all of the products from and they're actually like in my cart to be purchased. But for the most part, I have all of the products to swatch for you all. And I wanna preface this, there's a little rumor. It's not a rumor because it's been confirmed, but keep an eye out because I had a Sephora associate recently tell me this and I, um, a girl that I follow on Instagram, Autumn Love, she talked about this. There has been a 2,500 point perk in the Sephora Rewards Bazaar lately on Tuesdays and Thursdays where you get a $100 gift card voucher. Now I have not seen it lately and I'm thinking that they're holding off on this. Uh, due to the Sephora sale. I'm thinking it's probably not gonna pop back up until after the Sephora sale, but if it does, I mean like keep an eye out, you know what I'm saying? Because that's a $100 voucher that you could use towards additional discounts. But I feel like Sephora is smarter than that and it, they've not been putting it in the Rewards Bazaar for this particular reason. But I wanted to give you a heads up and I know it's legit because they offered it to me one day when I was at Sephora and my total was only like $60 and I was just like, mm, no. Um, but according to Autumn, it's only on Tuesdays and Thursdays in the Rewards Bazaar and it's like very brief. Like they throw it in there and then it's it's gone. So after we cover sets, I'm going to move into my Singleton products and I'm really keeping this selection limited this year because I just, I don't want to overwhelm you. I just did rating all of my blushes and I feel like we're, we're coming in with a lot of reviews. So I'm gonna do like two to three product rec recommendations per category and uh, that will that will be the full lineup for the recommendations. Okay, let's start off on a strong note. This is a set I recommend every single year. There's always a different variation of it and it's by M Beauty Project. They are sponsoring the first portion of this video so I can show you both of these amazing value sets that they have. But this is the Glaze for Days set and it comes with four of their lip glaze lip oils we all know it, these are in every single video that i do this set comes with four two new shades and two classic shades so the classic shades are candy apple and merlot i love both of those colors candy apple is on repeat for me if you like that juicy cherry lip Candy Apple is gonna be where it's at. Merlot is such a beautiful fall color. It's a nice brown ruby tone and it shears out really nicely, so don't let the color fool you. I am always down with a clear lip gloss. Clear lip glosses are just, they're like casually laying around my house, in my bag, at my office. You just cannot go wrong with a beautiful clear. Vanilla Mint is clear with a hint of shimmer. And then Cinnamon Bun. I feel like they popped off with this color. It's a warm, peach nude tone. I feel like it's going to appeal to every single person and I'm glad they did a bigger set this year. Now I do want to say they have a smaller set as well where you can get Mystery Glaze and Candy Apple. I'm actually wearing Mystery Glaze right now on my lips with a lip liner underneath. Um, but they also have that option available too, which is 25 bucks, such a good value, plus you get the discount on top of it for the sale. The next set is called Bright On. It comes with a full-size face glaze and a full-size bright and tight eye cream. Uh, now, most of you know I'm not a big primer person, but this is one of the few that I will go in with, especially if I feel like I need some added um, like glow to my skin, if I'm feeling like my skin has some dullness to it. This gives such a soft, blurred, glowy effect to the skin. It looks amazing underneath makeup. And then Bright and Tight is also an eye cream that's great to wear underneath makeup. It has a little bit of a peachy tint, so it really gives that brightened effect. And it also contains vitamin C. So if you're someone who needs some added glow, a little bit of extra luminosity underneath your makeup, um, this would be a perfect set. So moving into some smaller sets, I wanted to start out with with like the 25 to $30 set range. 
There was quite a good selection in my opinion for this price range and the first is the Charlotte Tilbury mini glossy pink lip gloss and lip liner set. What was really cool with this set that I thought is that they gave you two color options. So you can do the fresh pink set which comes with the mini lip cheat and pillow talk and the mini collagen lip bath and refresh rose. We, we all know my obsession with Charlotte Tilbury lip pencils. They are, it's either Charlotte Tilbury lip pencils or Sephora Rouge gel lip pencils or Makeup Forever Artist Pencil. Like those are the three that are on rotate, on repeat for me constantly. So you can do the pink option or they came in with a nude option which comes with Iconic Nude, one of my all time favorite lip liner colors from Charlotte Tilbury, and then the Pillow Talk Collagen Lip Bath. Um, I think this would be a perfect little desk gift for someone, a gift for yourself, um, a little stocking stuffer action happening here. So yeah, love that option from Charlotte Tilbury. I actually have quite a few Charlotte Tilbury. They really did a good job on the sets this year. Um, but I want to pivot over to Laneige. I love the Laneige lip mask sets that they do. They generally do two and they, they do have two this year. They do a, a minis collection and then they do a, a collection that has a full size mask and then like two minis in it. So the Starlit Lip Mask Trio is 32 and it comes with a full size lip mask. I think it's the berry shade and then you get the caramel apple which I know a lot of people were like really after the caramel apple scent this year. And then it looks like the second color or the second um, option. It's really confusing because when you like zoom in on the, okay, yeah, confirmed in the description, berry plus caramel apple and a mango. So 32 bucks, you get a full size plus two minis. We love to see it, Laneige. I abs I gift these every single year. The second option is Midnight Minis. I'm pretty sure this is the exact same set that they had last year. And honestly, I think it's just as good as getting the other set. And this one is cheaper. This one's only $20, okay? And honestly, I would probably go for this one because you get the minis will last you forever. Like I've never been able to use up a full size of the Laneige lip balm. So I just always get the minis. Um, and this one comes with a ton of the scents. So it's berry, gummy bear, sweet candy, mint choco, and mango. So you already get, I think that mango scent is that is mango. It said it was a holiday flavor this year. So I, I haven't tried that one yet. Um, but I love the mint choco. I love mint choco. Um, and I also love the uh, gummy bear. This is one that keeps toggling back and forth is sold out already. And every single year when they come out with this type of set, it sells, it sells out before the sale even starts, honestly. Um, last night it was out of stock. I checked this morning because it, it's in my cart and it was available. And I almost just went ahead and ordered it but I didn't and now I'm looking at my app and it is back out of stock again, but I'm gonna talk about it because, you know, maybe it'll keep like toggling back and forth. I don't know, but it is such a good value. It's the Summer Fridays mini lip butter balm set. I actually only own one Summer Fridays lip balm. It's the nude one that actually comes in the set and I love it. I keep it in my bag that has all of Max's stuff in it and it's just the perfect throw on nourishing lip butter. It gives a nice hint of like a nude or caramel to my lips. Um, but this set comes with four minis and it's $25 and it comes with the shades Vanilla Beige, which is the one that I have, Vanilla, which is clear, brown sugar, and Poppy. So a really beautiful color selection. Uh, Summer Fridays also did a secondary set, which is only available in stores. At least that's what it's showing on my app right now. Um, and it's a little bit more expensive. It's 50 because you get three full size lip butters. The shades in that one are vanilla, cherry, and iced coffee. Last but not least in the 25 to 30 dollar you know kit range we have the Say Beauty Mini Dew Blush Trio set. This comes with three mini dew blushes and these blushes they're gonna last you forever. It's just this is what I love about purchasing these sets around the sale time is these could literally last you all year. Um, so three of the dew blush shades, which I love, I actually rated these, I think like a four and a half star in my um, rating all of my blush in my collection video. And I talked about how I actually prefer these a little bit um, over the beloved Rare Beauty blushes. I think they're a little bit more user friendly. So you get the shades Rosy, Chili, and Baby. And Baby is a limited edition color. 
So, um, you know, you shouldn't already have that in your collection, but this is $30. I think that's a great value for these blushes. I, these three blushes alone would last you all year. Okay, now I'm gonna get a little bit more into like mid-tier, mid-level pricing. So we're exceeding the 40 to like, 50 60 dollar range this was one of my favorite sets last year except i think they did it better this year and it's the charmed heart kit from kaja i actually have two of the three well i have all of the products that come in this but one of the shades i don't have um, so this comes with cheeky stamp blush and saucy which i own i love i'm currently wearing a little bit on my cheeks right now cheeky stamp blushes also came in at a four and a half star in my rating all of my blushes video and and then we all know my love for the bento stack eyeshadows. This one comes with peach madeline, which I am wearing on my eyes right now. I have a little bit of peach madeline mixed with, um, mixed with neutral moment. And honestly, I would recommend purchasing just a singleton Kaja bento eyeshadow stack anyways, because I am such a firm believer in these travel friendly. They come in gorgeous shades. The formula is amazing. And they're just like no fuss and you always get a stunning eye look. So side note, I would recommend any of the bento shadow stacks just purchasing by themselves. Um, but last but not least, you also get the uh, the Jelly Charm Lip and Cheek. So this is one I have, but I don't have it in the shade that comes in here. It comes with Peach Fuzz, which looks really beautiful, just like a natural peach tone. You can use this on your lips and your cheeks. I prefer it on my lips just because I like Cheeky Stamp better uh, formula-wise to wear on the face. Um, but if you like that really dewy, dewy, glossy effect, you could use the Jelly Charm on your face. Um, but yeah, this is such a good set, $39. Literally, these are some of my favorite makeup products. Okay, while we're on this, this is not a set. Um, I just strictly wanted to talk about this because it's in my cart to purchase and it's Kaja and it's new and it's the Kaja Juicy Glass Lip Oil. These look amazing. Like the swatches look amazing. I, I'm i just such a, a fan of Kaja products. And like I said, I feel like they're always underrated or like thrown under the bus. These look so good. I have the shades Rose Hip Spritz and Grape Glotini in my cart to purchase. They're $18. Um, and they just look so glassy and juicy. So I wanted to point that out. That's new from Kaja. It's in my cart. If you're a Kaja fan too, I don't know, it might interest you as well. Okay, so this is a really good one. I feel like Sephora always pops off with a Sephora favorite set. In the past couple years, it's been the clean beauty sets that have been the best. This one comes with almost all full size products for 42 bucks. And I was shook when I saw that these were full size because $42, like honestly, one of these products alone is 30. So, and you get one, two, three, four, you get four full size products and then two like smaller. Um, so this is the Sephora Favorites Holiday Sparkly Clean Beauty Kit. And it comes with a full size Merit Signature Lip in the shade Le Avenue, which correct me if I'm wrong, is this like a limited color? Because I, I don't think I have one called that. It, it may not be. I haven't checked in to see if they've done shade expansions on those lately but the name doesn't sound super familiar and I have quite a few of those. Um, and then you get a full size Say Dew Blush in the shade Chili, a full size Cali Ray Glaze and Infuse No Burn Plumping Lip Gloss in Taco Tuesday. I love the Cali Ray uh, plumping glosses. I actually only have one and I keep it on my um, sink to just like throw on for a really classic makeup days. And I love the formula and it feels very healthy. Um, so yeah, I love those glosses and you get a full size one. In a Kosas um, eyebrow gel, full size. And then the deluxe size products are the Rose Ink uh, Mascara and then a Freck Beauty Cactus Water Cleansing Lactid Lactic Acid Toner. This is a bomb set, um, probably one of the best values that I'm gonna talk about today. This is one I firmly believe everyone should check out because I love these, they're so versatile. They're, 
it, they're like products like if you know you know you know what I mean if you have tried them you know that they're just like an underrated staple but makeup forever has a mini artist color lip pencil and eyeliner set the artist pencils are multi-use you can use them for lips face eyes really whatever anything on the face eyebrows I use endless cacao on my brows sometimes um, and this comes with some of my favorite colors so you get anywhere caffeine wherever walnut limitless brown which I'm wearing on my eyes as eyeliner today wherever black and all around white so anywhere caffeine and wherever walnut those are my jam love those I've been using those for years they can be used as like blushes they can be used as eyeliners lip liners I love using them the most as lip liners but I did a full face of artist uh, pencils on my TikTok the other day Let's get into some pretty bougie sets. This is one that I wanted to talk about again from Charlotte. It is massive, but I think everything that comes in this kit is full size. It is $390, okay? So we're talking like Dyson territory. Remember when, you know, everyone was like arguing, is the Dyson worth that price? Okay, so $390. Okay, so it says it's a $532 value. And honestly, I believe it because it comes with the Pillow Talk face palette, which comes with a blush, bronzer, and like two highlighters, full size. Um, collagen, lip bath, and Pillow Talk. Eyes to mesmerize and Pillow Talk, we know. I love my eyes to mesmerize. Uh, Pillow Talk Eyeliner, Cheek to Chic, and Pillow Talk, which is the original Charlotte Tilbury blush. The Hollywood Glow Glide Highlighter in Pillow Talk. Luxury Palette in Pillow Talk. Matte Beauty Blush Wand in Pillow Talk. So everything's in Pillow Talk, if you haven't um, caught on to this. Beauty Light Wand, Matte Revolution Lipstick, Pillow Talk Classic, love it. Pillow Talk Push Up Lashes in Super Black. So it's not the Pillow Talk color that's like the maroon. It is the black shade. Um, the Hyaluronic Happy Kiss. And I've not even tried those yet. And of course, uh, your classic lip cheat. So this is definitely a splurge item. Like this would be a huge splurge. But if you think about it, like if you're going to replenish your makeup, like when you're going into Charlotte Tilbury, you're gonna spend $300 on like probably four to five products. This is also something if you're feeling generous, you could split up. I wanted to include one of the bigger sets and this one just, it kind of makes sense to me. I think it's a really good value. The last few sets I'm gonna talk about are from Tatcha and I have a couple of these to show you because I got um, a couple of these in Tatcha PR a couple weeks ago and I think that they are an amazing deal. I have been loving Tatcha this year for my skin. I have been, this has probably been the most sensitive year for my skin. And the Indigo line that released from Tatcha this year was such a huge lifesaver. I still use Indigo Overnight Repair on a weekly basis in the Indigo Cleansing Balm. Just so good if you have sensitive skin. So that's the first set that I wanna talk about. It is the Japanese Indigo Cleanse and Nourish Fragrance Free Skincare Duo. And this one comes with an Indigo Overnight Repair Cream, which again is like such a lifesaver for me. It feels so good and my skin always wakes up very hydrated. A little mini Indigo Cleansing Balm, which perfect for travel. I took my Indigo Cleansing Balm to Sonoma back in May this year had a horrible allergic reaction. My face was like red, puffy, swollen. Um, I took it off with my Indigo Cleansing Balm and within just like an hour, my skin just felt so relieved. And I also feel like, this is crazy to say, but after I use that cleansing balm, most of the time I feel like I don't even need moisturizer. That's how like nourishing it feels. So this is just a really good set, um, especially if you're already a Tatcha fan. And then for all of my dewy skin lovers, the Tatcha Dewy Skin, they've got a Tatcha Dewy Skin set. It is for dry to combination skin. And then they also have the clarifying and pore refining set, which is for oily to combination skin. It looks like you're saving about $40 um, before the discount on these sets. So with the discount even more, so between like $40 and $50, you're probably gonna save. Last set I'm gonna talk about, I'm really excited Glossier is at Sephora now. I have got the new Glossier foundation in my cart. I don't know why I haven't picked it up yet. Um, but I have been looking forward to trying it. But of course they have a Glossier U 
set you get a full-size Glossier U perfume and then this is I think a little is it the roller ball or is it just yeah it's the Glossier U roller ball so a little travel size um honestly I haven't worn you in a little bit I keep it at my office um but I have been a Lalabo girly for the past like year. I don't know why I've switched things up um, and I wear Lalabo. Well, for the fall, I wear uh, the Noir from Lalabo. And then my all year round scent is another 13 mixed with Rose 31. So that's what I've been wearing primarily. I have a couple of other fragrance options I'm going to talk about later. But I pulled my U back out and I was like, why? Why haven't I picked you up, girl? It is just such a classic scent you either love it or you hate it the thing that i love about this perfume is i cannot describe it to anyone like period i can't describe to you what this smells like and i feel like it smells different on everyone but it is one of those that every time i wear it every time i wear it out someone asks me this one and my lilabo another 13 hands down everywhere i go i was at the derm yesterday wearing um my another 13 and they were like what is it girl what is it what, what you got on okay we have made it into individual product recommendations now so these are things that i currently own that i just love and i feel like need to be reiterated or like re-stamped into your brain um the first i actually don't even think i've had the chance to talk about on my channel yet but it's the new estee lauder futurist skin tint serum um so i love hate with this with this girly because I think Estee Lauder is trying to replace double wear sheer with her with this one I asked the girl at the counter and she was like well no um but they're phasing Estee Lauder sheer to just be online only which we know what that means like Rebecca we know what online only exclusive means it means that they're like doing away with it so that's my rant for the day however I do really like this. Um, all that, all of that, just to say, I do like this. Um, it is very nice. However, it is not as versatile as Double Wear Sheer. Double Wear Sheer, literally any person, any skin type, any skin tone. Like they had it down, the shade range, the formula, so good on that one. With this formula, the Future Skin Tint Serum, this is, in my opinion, really only going to appeal to normal, dry, uh, mature skin. I don't see people who have combination oily loving this. I have actually, I'm wearing it right now and I, I sat my face generously with the Rare Beauty Powder, which is pretty mattifying. And you can see all of the glow still coming through. So this is a very, very glowy tint. Coverage wise, I would say it's pretty similar to Estee Lauder Double Wear Sheer. Um, but you just have way more glow happening. It feels more emollient. It feels almost like oil based when you put it on. So if you're dry AF or have mature skin, I think you will really like this. It looks beautiful. Like you'll see in the demo, it looks really good on. The best time to buy this foundation, Armani Luminous Silk will always remain a classic staple. Um, it can do no wrong. It's just the best like all around foundation formula in my opinion. You can do natural, you can do medium, you can do full glam like event style makeup with this. It is just perfection in a bottle. Um, so she always gets a shout out each year. Two skin tints to talk about. Um, the first, I really would not call this a skin tint because it has more coverage than what uh, a typical skin tint would. But I have been mentioning this recently, especially on my social media channels and I've talked about it here. Um, it's Beauty Blender Bounce Skin Tint. This is gorgeous and it's the cheapest price point out of all of the complexion products I'm going to talk about today. It's only $29, so minus the 20%, even cheaper. So I think that's substantially lower than most foundation and skin tints on the market right now. So keep that in mind. This is such a beautiful formula. Literally one of the most underrated uh, complexion products it, it, on, on the market. And I'm shocked that Beauty Blender is really even still making it because you just don't hear anyone talk about it. You get a nice light to medium coverage. You could definitely build this up to medium. It looks healthy. It feels good. It wears nicely throughout the day. It's just a lovely, lovely complexion product. You put it on and it's just kind of like this soft veil. 
Um, so if you want to go for a little underrated item, this would be my pick. She's Beauty and She's Grace, the Summer Fridays skin tint. I always talk about this as just being your quintessential skin tint. Like it feels so good, especially if you have um, dry skin. This just feels so nourishing. You get light coverage. It is just everything you want in a quick throw on and go product. No scent to this, so there's no irritation. There's no no SPF, which I love. I'm sorry, but SPF tears. Like, come at me, come at me, SPF people, because you get diagnosed with five different types of eczema and dermatitis and tell me how your skin reacts to SPF. This has been my, like, the most or days I've probably went in a year without applying my SPF. Like, I literally cannot put it on my face. Every single SPF that I have, whether it be chemical or mineral, but I'm telling you, after I like take my makeup off at the end of the day, red, apple, irritated, just it, it will take days to clear up. So what I'm trying to say, this does not have SPF in it, which I feel like most skin tints do. Um, and so for that reason, it just, it, it's so nourishing. It feels so good on my skin. Um, so yeah, if you want something that is just classic throw on a go light coverage, this is it. I really have not been wearing a ton of concealer this year, but I will say there's two that I've consistently been enjoying. The first is what I'm wearing currently, and it's the Bobbi Brown uh, Skin Full Cover Concealer. This I love wearing, honestly, as a foundation, and it was designed to where you actually can use it as a foundation. It has great longevity. Um, the only thing I will say is if you are uh, dry, definitely make sure that you moisturize well before using this because it does, um, dry down like it, it's not a serum-y dewy concealer, but it looks so good so skin like it sits beautifully on the skin and it gives very good coverage This is going to be a medium full coverage concealer um, And also I think it's very underrated like I don't hear a ton of people talk about this so um, Yeah, this is one I consistently reach for because it will cover uh, excessive redness that I have um, when my perioral dermatitis flares up and it just sits really good on the skin. So, um, and longevity, like does not crease, looks really good throughout the day. Now, if you are someone who wants more of that serum or hydrating texture, this is a new one from Tower 28. Um, it, it's literally called the Serum Concealer. It's only been out for like a month, but I have thoroughly enjoyed it. It gives very good coverage, which again, shocking to me from Tower 28 because they're such like their skin tint is super sheer. Um, a lot of their products just come off with that natural, no makeup makeup vibe, but this actually does give a good medium coverage and um, it just looks very like glowy, serum healthy. You, you get what I'm saying, like very youthful. So this is a new concealer launch that I have really been loving. Okay, so most of the year for bronzer, I've been using my Makeup by Mario um, Soft Sculpts Cream Bronzer, which I has been in my project pan all freaking year. I literally, I swear that thing's never going to run out. Um, but that's what I've been using the majority of the year. Honestly, I'm ready to switch it up. So I have been using other stuff at my office. The two that I have been loving most of the year, first off is another Tower 28 product. This is the Sculptino in the shade Getty. Um, I'm wearing a little bit right now. I'm wearing both of the bronzers I'm gonna talk about. You'll see me apply them in the demo. Um, but this is just a great classic slightly glowy bronzer it does give off a little bit of a like sheen when you apply it i also love how slim chic easy to like stamp your brush in perfect size it's just a really solid formula this is one from is it lys or lis beauty um because i every time i say one thing someone will tell me no it's the other um, so I, I think I always say Liss Beauty, but if it's LYS, you get what I'm saying. Um, this is their No Limits Cream Bronzer, and I have thoroughly been enjoying this. It is a stick, and if you're someone that wants a little bit more grip, like this has a little bit more grip. It's not as sheer as the Tower 28, um, but it also still gives a little bit of a glow to the skin. It's not a mattifying bronzer. I have been loving this because it has quite a bit of pigment to it, so a little goes a long way. Yeah, it's just really beautiful. I love the amount of pigment that it has. It's not, it's, it's pigmented, but not so much that it's like a huge stamp of color on your cheeks. 
but it's also not as sheer as the Tower 28. So it's a good middle ground cream bronzer. Okay, guys, for blushes, I'm begging you, just go watch my rating all of my cream blushes in my collection videos, because not only did I work super hard on those two, um, I literally rate every single blush that I own from five stars all the way down to one. Um, so honestly, I'm very tired of talking about blushes because that video has been over two weeks in the making. But off the top of my head, obviously the Kaja, the set that I talked about from Kaja, you get a cheeky stamp blush. Um, that's a great formula. My Merit Flush Balms, also amazing formulas. The Laura Mercier Tinted Blushes, Tinted Moisturizer Blushes. Uh, you really can't go wrong with those. Tower 28, those are amazing formulas. Very similar, like I said, to the uh, Tower 28 Cream Bronzer that I featured. So yeah, just um, go watch those videos. And um, if you need to watch them on the 2X speed, honey, I don't blame you because I did too. So we had a, we covered a lot of cream blushes and I would just feel very repetitive, you know, compiling that back into this video. This is my only brow recommendation. And I think this was in my uh, Sephora, my last Sephora favorites or recommendations video. And it's the Westman Atelier Bonnie Brow which I'm wearing right now. This is such a good user-friendly brow pencil. It is so waxy that you literally don't need a gel to put on like on top of it. So it comes with the pencil in one side and then just a spoolie in the other. There's no product in this. And I thought that was really dumb at first, but then I felt how waxy the actual pencil is. And I was like, oh, okay, that makes sense. Like the wax holds it in place and you just kind of shape with the brush. Um, very underrated, very good brow product. Uh, you get quite a bit of product in here. Like it's a very chunky stick, which normally I'm not into. Normally I don't like these like wide tipped, but it's, I don't know, it's probably the easiest brow pencil that I own. Eyes are gonna be very typical. You know it, I know it, we all know what I'm gonna say. Laura Mercier Caviar Stick and Bobbi Brown Longwear Cream Shadow Sticks. Like, that's just, it, these are the rules. They get mentioned every year. Um, if you wanna see all the swatches, I have videos where I swatch all of those for you. Um, other than that, what I briefly mentioned earlier, Kaja Bento Shadow Stacks. I'm not someone who really even wears powder eyeshadow much anymore, but these are the ones that I stand by. This is one of my favorite shades. It's called Mauve Bouquet, and it is such a stunning, um, you get a nice, just like beautiful champagne color on top. And what I love is this purple in the bottom. It's like a purpley eggplant brown. And then in the middle, you get a slightly pinky shimmer. Such a good palette. I love this. It's a good color combination. It's not your typical brown, like boring brown, but it's also not so in your face that someone would really even notice that you're wearing color, if that makes sense. So if you wanna switch things up and add just a little like tiny pop of discreet color, this would be the one to go for. This is pretty much the only mascara I've used the entire year. It's Tower 28 Make Waves. Um, and I've used this or my Tarte Surfer Curl. So those are pretty much the only two, but I've honestly been using Make Waves a little bit more. Um, and they just released this shade called Drift, which is a brown. Um, I didn't see it on the Sephora website yet, so I don't know if it's going to be on there for the sale. It might just be on the Tower 28 website right now, but I did want to briefly mention it. Um, this is such a good all around mascara, like length, volume, definition, separation. I feel like it does it all. So yeah, this would be my top recommendation for mascara. Let's talk about brushes really briefly because I have two that I feel like I'm bombarded with questions on every single time I use in a video. The first is the Say Beauty. I think this one's just called the Big Brush. Uh, such a good multi-purpose brush. I do an entire face of makeup with this. It is a little bit more diffused and larger than the other one I'm gonna talk about, but they're both very similar in the sense that you can do an entire face of makeup. 
Um, the other one is the Merit The One brush. So this one is a little bit more contoured. You can get in a little bit closer uh, on the under eye area in those crease areas and you're gonna get more of like a defined look if you use it with like, let's say a cream bronzer. Uh, I love both of these. I think that they perform in such a similar way. Multi-purpose, again, with this Merit one, you could even like do a quick all over eyeshadow moment because it's got that more pointed tip to it. Um, yeah, I just thought I would mention both of these because I get questions on them literally every single time I use them. And uh, I, I just think if you're someone who's a minimalist and you want something that can kind of do it all, both of these are really good options and they are available at Sephora. Moving into our final category, we have lips. Um, these are some underrated lip liners I mention every single year and they are 30% off during the sale because they are from Sephora Collection and it is the Rouge Gel Lip Liners. These are so good. They're like $8 after the discount and they come in such a wide variety of colors as well. I love the shades that you can pick from in the Rouge Gel lineup. They're creamy, they're uh, really great packaging, they're twist up so you don't have to worry about sharpening. I just all around love this formula. It's um, a bit shiny, it is like that gel formula like the name says. Obviously my M Beauty Lip Project uh, lip glazes, like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, that's like a number one pick for me when it comes to lips. Okay guys, I think that's it for the recommendations. I'm gonna have a few additional ones down below in the info box, just things that I have in my cart, but I didn't necessarily have the time to talk about today or wanna over bombard you with. There will be a few more fragrance recommendations down below. Um, I feel like I'm not a fragrance guru, but I know what I like. So if you feel like you are in that same category as me, I will have those down below as well as a few other things that I um, have my eye on or that are currently in my cart. I hope you enjoyed this run through and I hope you find some good stuff during the sale and I'll see y'all in my next one. Bye.